my uh, Samsung PN58A550. <clears throat> it's got some uh, picture problems when it turns on and so I'm trying to isolate the problem. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the um, this uh, digital, I don't know what do they call it, digital I.O. board into a test mode. Um, I think this board here, this is called the main board. Um, I think I've isolated it that this is actually the problem. Um, up here is the power supply board. My original thought that it was that because, you know, it would um, turn on. Picture would be kind of garbled for a little bit. It would, TV would reset itself and then it would come back on and be better. Um, but the picture's gotten worse. I'll show that later. But I tested all the voltages on there, and that was pretty good. Um, and so um, I found some documentation on how to get this into a test mode. So on this board here, over here, is a little uh, four-pin header. Um, and they say that if you... you sh well, first thing I'm going to do... Uh, unplug the power um, and then I'm going to short pins uh, three and four with a jumper here. Um, one book said that there could be a six pin header here and then it would be pins five and six but you can see there's a little one two and a three and a four so it's those top two pins and then um, we need a way to turn on the TV um, and the way you can get the power supply to turn on is to um, well, if you look at the schematic, I'll put a link to the schematic, um, is to short um, the power supply on, which is pin 1, and then uh, pin 5. Um, I'm going to do that by following this cable down to the, to the main board here where I've unplugged it. And um, the pin numbers are actually different on the other end of the cable, but I'm basically following following the cable from the top here down and that comes out right here so it's the um, the black wire pin one and then I'm gonna now I gotta set the camera down for a second um, I got another jumper so the first pin and the third pin so there it is the first and the uh, well, the pin numbers are on the top there are numbered 1, 3, 5. So I, I did the first pin, skipped one, put this jumper into the fifth pin. So that when the power is reapplied, when I plug that back in, that is going to cause the power supply to enable. And then um, my board, there's the number for it, um, with this test mode jumper on is going to start doing a test pattern and we'll find out if the screen gets all scrambled which could mean that it's this 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 digital logic board or if it's something to do with the power supply um, so where's my so here's my power cord plug that back in that little click was the power supply coming on and this little board's flashing um, two green lights that's a good sign and let's see what happens on the front side here so big white picture now green red in a minute we'll get some really cool colors blue
and that's a gray so more gray and so no no scrambled pictures or anything like that this is all very clean um, so I'm gonna say it's not my power supply and it's not that uh, digital board um, has to do with something with the what they call the main since this is the board that's isolated this is where all the HDMI comes in and, and the main computer control um, and everything is uh, up in the corner here there's a couple power supplies um, that regulate down the power that comes across this cable um, so um, and you know they're probably the main chip that does the control or it could be underneath the big heat sink I don't know um, the tuner so something's wrong with the board um, the boards are less than a hundred bucks so if I have to buy one I will but first I'm gonna check out the power supplies um, on uh, here just to see if there's something really wacky and um, could it be as simple as a little bag capacitor or something. All right, but that's how you put it in the test mode.